present about my experiment. This experiment is about a free torsional vibration for single degree of freedom system. Okay, the main objective uh, we decide to determine degree rate of the torsional system and to determine the torsional thickness of the torsional bar. from the experiment. 
Okay, this is scaling module. Scaling module to set the dead term of the bit. Okay, then we use digital meter to reduce the noise. On digital meter, we use high pass to detect the low frequency. Uh, then we write the data to DSP file for our reference. Okay, this YT chart will show the unfiltered data and also the filtered data for our layout. Okay, from the recorder, uh, it goes to min and max module uh, to detect the maximum value of the data and then uh, we choose arithmetic to uh, learn the value and it will show it will save at the right as a ASCII file and we can uh, we can open in Excel file okay this delimiter and this is used to to show at the layout okay. this is our layout start and stop module uh, exit module and this YT chart uh, will show raw data filter data and this for recorded file from the recorder this is uh, the table from the list ok that's all from me thank you good day to everyone now I'm going to uh, explain about the theory of our torsional system. First, it's a big array. Now, this is uh, our underdam uh, under system, the graph showing the underdam system. From here, we know S equal to A, E to row of negative big array times time. So, from here, we learn the both sides, long S go to long a, E, E, E. Finally, we will get the long x equal to negative uh, decay times time plus long x. We know this equation is equal to y equal m s plus 3. So, decay rate is a gradient. From here, we, we can plot. where the decay rate is a gradient of the graph. Now, I will pass to without. Alright, for the discussion, uh, the first is the ethical and experimental value. One is the two-way. Okay, the support chart uh, and sharp use have one up due to continuous and long period of usage. This is proven when the chart was unable to hold the specimen sharp firmly when an initial excitation force is applied on the hanging disc and the sharp use was slightly bent okay his hands caused the deviation in result so that's called the error okay uh, for the theoretical case it considered only ideal condition however in real world energy loss due to external and internal friction and other external disturbance okay that's all the discussion